In the previous video, we created the selected authorization strategy. To refresh your memory, we created two users, the editor and the viewer, and two roles. We also assign full permissions to the application user and post objects for the editor role and read only for the viewer role. We tested and distributed the web API service and got paid for it. However, our customer came back with a request. He wanted to hide the application user password from the editor role. The viewer role is okay because they already don't have permissions for the application user. For modifying the selected authorization strategy, I showed you two possible free solutions in the overview video, which are to edit the database directly and modify the authorization there, or to modify the selected code and redistribute the web service. However, there's a third option we can offer the customer. We can integrate a powerful Blazor and Windows UI and enable painless authorization modifications. Our XAF UI comes with the universal subscription, which isn't free, even for us. But once they realize what an amazing tool it is, they'll understand the value behind paying for it. To add the XAF Windows and Blazor UI to our web API project, we'll use the solution wizard again. Add a new project, and locate the DevExpress gallery again. I'll use the same name as before, Free Web API Security, and the wizard is smart enough to generate namespaces that match, making work easier. First, we'll add the Windows UI, and then we'll use a different configuration for Blazor. I'll choose Entity Framework because I want to use the post-EF business object already declared in my existing web API project. And we'll use standard authentication. Here I have a list of extra modules that you can use to empower your application more. But since we're just building a manager for our web API permissions, I'll just finish the wizard. The wizard added the free web API security module to our solution, which is a platform agnostic project and its Windows front end counterpart. First, I'll move the post business object from the web API project to the platform agnostic module so all projects can access it. Next, register it to the Entity Framework DB context. Since I moved the post object from the Web API project, I have to add a dependency to the platform agnostic module. So first, I'll add project references. Then, I have to differentiate the namespace of the platform agnostic module a bit so I can register it in the Web API project without any issues. I'm doing this because a module with the same name already exists there. Finally, I'll move to the Web API project module to register this one. Okay, let's run the application and authenticate as admin. Here is the list of Web Service API users. You remember the editor and the viewer user we created in the previous video, right? So let's create the title viewer user and add it to the title viewer role. We'll also assign read only permission for the post object. And finally, deny access to the post content and close the application. Now, let's start Swagger and test the title viewer user authorization strategy. First, we'll use a post request on the authentication endpoint to authorize the title viewer.
And finally, we'll send a GET request expecting to see only the post title and not the content. Everything's perfect. The content is null. Next, we'll integrate the Blazor UI. Don't worry, I won't repeat myself. Everything we did up to here is totally reusable. Instead, I'll explore additional features that come along with our powerful framework as part of the universal subscription. So let's add a new project to the solution. Name it Free Web API Security again. This time we'll choose the Blazor app template. And again, Entity Framework Core as our data layer. This time, instead of the standard authentication we use for our Windows client, we'll go with OAuth 2 because we plan to use Azure for authentication. And again, I won't use any of the extra modules, but I promise we'll go over them in more detail in future videos. The wizard added the free web API security.blazor.server project to our solution and referenced the agnostic module. So once we configure the Azure authentication, we're finished. First, let's go to startup.cs and remove this return. We're doing this under the guidance of these comments here, which describes the functionality of the grayed out code. It automatically creates a new user once authenticated from Azure. They've been assigned the default roles, but I want them as admin, so I'll change it. Finally, we need to create an Azure application and modify our settings appropriately. So let's head to the Azure portal, then choose Azure Active Directory, find the app registrations, Create a new app and name it Free Web API Security. Select the web platform and configure the callback URL and click register. Copy and paste the client and tenant ID to the settings file. Now go to Authentication and enable ID tokens. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio and run the Blazor app. We'll log in with Open ID this time. And here's the user list we created before. With our title viewer user, that belongs to the title viewer role, which is allowed to read the post object type. But can't read its content. Remember, all these amazing features I just demoed in this video ship only with our universal subscription, which is not free. But hopefully, after watching these videos, it's worth at least a 30-day free trial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.